Jacqueline Niseku Kuranoi is still mourning her brother, a corporal in the Kenyan National Army killed in Somalia on January the 15th this year. It was his second tour of duty and his company had arrived at El Ade just a couple of weeks before. Yeah, he's died as a hero because he's not a coward. He decided to face them. Very few of these stories have been heard. The Kenyan governments refused to acknowledge the dead publicly. They told us the enemy attacked them using the suicidal bomb. It was a way that they could not be able even to escape. Did the government give you a figure as to the number of, of his comrades who'd also died? That one they refused because they, they said that if we give you the number, that is giving the praise to the enemy. The first car bomb breached the simple defences. The second struck at the heart of the camp. This propaganda video from Al-Shabaab is the only public account of what happened at al Ade. Kenya still refuses to make any comment, ten months on. But a UN monitoring group report says it was the largest military defeat in Kenyan history, with at least 150 soldiers killed and 11 kidnapped. It was critical of their defences, communications and intelligence gathering. Kenyan forces are operating here in southern Somalia under the African Union peacekeeping force known as AMISOM. Well, this is one of the Kenyan forward operating bases in southern Somalia, the front edge of the area they control in their war against Al-Shabaab. Even after improvements made since the attack on Alade, the extent of the defences appears rudimentary. Without accountability for what went wrong, similar mistakes could be made. Elade was just one of the many attacks that has happened uh, within some uh, area of oppression. And therefore, I'm seeing we are learning uh, lessons. Lessons are being learned. Patrick Athara is a Kenyan newspaper cartoonist. He says the media should have demanded more of an explanation, but the government provides 60% of their advertising income. So the government has sway over the media for this oh, reason? Huge sway, huge, huge sway. And we've seen that they're not um, afraid to use it. El Ade is one national silence, but there are others involving Kenyan troops. There's still been no official account of what happened during the Westgate shopping mall attack in Nairobi three years ago. Alice Lee, BBC News, Kenya.